Alright, let's get all to it. So, I actually, to so catch y'all up, I actually did some exploration around this entire area. Like, I found all these sites. And um, I ventured out to where I felt like I wanted to venture out to. So, just, I did some side quests. You know, I done some little things aside from. Let's see. Okay, yeah. And then, yeah, I did all that. Did all that. Okay. But yeah, I did like, some little side quests stuff but i try to stay away from the main but i end up doing the main <laughs> uh thinking it was, this is just gonna keep spawning for like xp stuff like an xp farm or something but not knowing i was actually doing the main mission so we're gonna get right into it uh who i gotta go talk to okay they're right here i don't know what a is doing out here but consider yourself old we tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olvin blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olvin holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olvin's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. What is to? Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. Find this in my stash later. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Fast travel. I use a, I use a good amount of fast travel. <laughs> Time to get Olvent to blow the whistle. Then what is to bear light? Okay. Uh, so let's make this objective uh, so we can know where to go. Okay, so it's down here. Cool. That reminds me. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there. Not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. Shouldn't take more than a day or two. No, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you what? sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Great. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's more like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Okay. Merchants. Finally. Yeah, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I just need to find that merchant. If they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Okay. I brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. 
You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. All right, this is probably gonna take some time, but I need to. That's it. Let's see, fire hunter bow. I low key kind of need that warrior bow. Best suits for close friends. So they must have changed the warrior bow. Now, actually, no, that's a new bow. I'm thinking about the war bow. It's a fast firing bow. Best suited for close range encounters. You got a sharp shot bow. I'm definitely going to need a fire hunter bow because some of these got blaze canisters that I, I can blow off. Um, and I know I'm going to need that, especially with the, um, at the stage of the game I'm at. I'm going to need to make things as easy as I can until I can start upgrading my weapons and getting clothes and make them stronger. <laughs> so let's see. Um, Come back anytime. That might be. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. Oh, that's cold. Round, round. Yeah. I know some of these. I know some of these fire. Um. I know some of these. Um. Let me see if I can put them out. Put them on the map. Here, here you go. Fire fang horns. Yeah. Um, just shooting the canisters off. The blaze canisters off ain't been enough. Like I've died. I think I've died to a fire fang horn. I think. Was it one of them? Let's go statistics. It doesn't tell you the deaths. Wow. Unless I'm tripping. <laughs> nah. Okay. It doesn't tell you. But yeah, I've died. A, I've died one time to a fire fang horn, so I don't want that to happen again. And you got ten. Okay. All right. So, with that happen, let's go talk to this dude. I'm gonna try to make these episodes a lot shorter, not make an hour long. To try to cover most of the story that I can, or mainly the story. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Done. The embassy can finally get underway. Hallelujah. Okay. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. Okay, so now some more quests open up. Don't really see nothing else south of these two new quests, and I got two skill points. Uh, what we gonna use this on? Also, I went and got this. I don't know how you pronounce it, Velo Surge or whatever. I went and got this. Um, so I'm trying to think what should I do next. I've been trying to work on Hunter, but so far I don't really see anything. That I really need craft more ammunition from the same amount of resources that might prove useful, but that takes all two. And I kind of want to see if I can spread these out a little bit more. Silent strike, stealth tier, deal more tier damage while in stealth. Silent strike, heal. You got quiet movement. Um, and I got two. Okay, let's try to get this Vega Swords down. Let's just. 
Let's, let's get it. I'm not gonna have enough. I mis <laughs> I did the math wrong. Okay, well I'll just use one more and then I got to get one more than I had that valor surge. So uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and get to the embassy. Team with the main story. And I gotta find a charger to override. Cauldrons could teach me how to override these machines. But where would they be? Okay. I. Okay, so. I'm gonna go it's to the charger mount site right there, and it's a lot closer. Do I really want to waste the fast? Well, if I go to a campfire, I can fast travel from there. So let me just go back to the campfire <laughs> and fast travel from there. That way I don't got to worry about wasting the fast travel pack. I just recently found that out. If you go to a campfire, you can fast travel wherever you want for free without the use of a fast travel pack. So that's exactly what I'm finna do. Yep, here we go. And then now I can fast travel way over here. Alright. Gonna try and pick up on some health stuff real quick. This will be in my stash when I need it. There's some boards over here. Oh, I'm, I'm good on um medicinal stuff. Okay, I thought I was like kind of slacking, but I'm actually pretty good. Okay. All right, so we're gonna override the charger, and then we're gonna head for the. Let me just see what in the world is that noise? Okay. Okay. This seems easy enough. We found a rock and. Over there, yes, sir. That's a normal buddy. Okay, so you have a mount call. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so in the la in the Zero Dawn, the mount call was an ability you had to unlock. Now they just give it to you once you mount your first uh, uh, right. animal. The last part of the Sundown before the Forbidden West. Don't call it Jahun. Everything's the embassy stores. I should walk. Last thing I need is a machine stomping around in there. Okay. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about. Let me see. What's the stash here? Okay. I don't think there's really anything else unless there's some new stuff here from this merchant. Oh, okay. Slicing Shredder Gauntlet. Wow. Is there a way we can see how it works or nah, not like the last one? Okay. Okay, so I was going I I think about going for the rope caster. Explosive and purge water bombs. I have enough metal shards. Plenty of metal shards. Mmm. 
I feel like getting the rope caster just in case. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the rope caster, buy and equip. I'm gonna put it right there. And then I got explosive blast sling. I'm just gonna end up going ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get that too. <laughs> I mean, shoot, can't got got the whole arsenal of weapons. Ain't no ain't, can't not, cannot go wrong with that. And I cannot talk. Okay, so how many? We got eight. I low key don't want to waste one. Okay. So I'm definitely going to need a bow that has a lot of elemental stuff because there's a lot of elements in this game. You got acid, purge, water, fire, a whole bunch of stuff. There's errand. It looks like he's had a few. You're in a sour mood. That broken ribs will do that to you. Right. Let's focus on the main mission. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh out there. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies. No, that would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Uh, hopefully this dude ain't up too far. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Okay, he probably just up here around the corner. Yo, look at the sun. My goodness. Yes, the commander. Brace yourself and good luck.
How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Norma. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Might be worth another look around the Daunt before the embassy. Maybe I could check on Errant in the courtyard. And Thurlis mentioned there's a hunting grounds near here to train up. Alright, so we do have the option of going back and finishing up this area before we advance. But I'm thinking we probably could advance and not have to worry about all this little side quest stuff. But you know what? For the sake of the fact there ain't been no action, let's go ahead and go. Your impatience does not hasten the Tanakh, Nora. Only our annoyance. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. This is finna get real ugly. I'm asking nicely. I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, What's happening? Oh, I, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Oh, well, that worked. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Laurel. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. To this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. Oh, my. Okay. Here we go.
That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Are you glad? To be going back to Meridian. Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But, these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. You asked why I need Rite of Passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner!
Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Ah, uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Boy, 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 boy. Hey. <laughs> and she can control it. Him up. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this is new. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up. Dumb behind, didn't get the cover. OK. 
Okay then, good move. Oh my god. Oh wait, okay, I thought he got hit. Where, where is so what, what are we supposed to do? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! I guess this is where we come in. So much for action. Let's get it. Stick to cover. Archers on the ridge. Where he at? Here they come. Spotted. Where my fire was at because a lot of these got on um, fire cancers on them. Gotcha. Hit the mark. Uh, where's another one at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Here they go. Uh huh. Got you too. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Exactly why I got this. Sorry, is he? Did Buddy just stop a whole machine like that? They got him in now, bro. These are fire versus bats. Okay. I think or at least acid. I'm not sure. Hold on. That's right, that's ass, that's ass. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. There's these guys on the ground. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of here, let me get out of here. That's done, let me get up out of here. Where they at, where they at? Come on, come on, come on. Alright, cool. Anything about okay, that's cool. That's it, that's it. Enough. You outlanders, I'll skin you both. Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Yeah. Did he just? Did, he got our bro. What the hell? He got a shield. What? You're next. This I've never different. seen a shield like that. Better scan it. Damn. Woo! Wait a second. Hold on, but I gotta scan you. Weak versus shock. Shock. I gotta put down some shock stuff. So. He didn't. Whoa. Okay, he just went right through it. All right, then. Bet. Give it up. Crash some more of these. Come charge you right to me. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Okay. Keep 
my distance, wait for him to come right to me. He come right to me. Oh, snap. He didn't hit me. Gotta get through that shield. You serious? Get this one. Oh, I'm tripping. I thought I had the arrow. I had a whole frosting. <laughs> oh, what? Let me crash some more. Come on, come on. Herb and crap. Herb and crap. Come on. Tripping, that ain't what I wanted. Give it up. Yo, that radius is ridiculous. I'm not giving up. He's vulnerable. Yes, sir, gotcha, dummy. Stupid. going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Still trying to sort out this mess. 
Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north. With all those machines they were riding, they must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asaram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then new Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The Desert Clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them. Forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for.
All right, well, now the whole world is open to us now. Let's save the extra stock for later. The shield wing is an energy-based glider repurposed from machine technology. Whole square were in the air to deploy and glide. Okay, let's try this out real quick. Ah, okay. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence. And just maybe, back up with God. The NBA is out there. The blight, the storms, we call those machine riders. All right. Is anything around here? There's a lot of blight around here. Okay. I forgot going into there. <laughs> Need some health. Um. So we got a whole bunch of land to look at. I mean, just wow. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. This. This is. This is gonna be a lot. I'm definitely gonna spend a lot of time off screen just like doing a lot of side stuff and exploring by the time i come back i might not be level 10 i might be a higher level than that I might be like level like 20 or something for all this stuff i got to do plus when i find a tall neck as a matter of fact 50 minutes i'm gonna have to save the tall neck for later <laughs> or for the start of the next episode because i it's a 50 minutes long <laughs> and i said i was gonna make it kind of shorter so it's the end of this episode